Okay, YouTubers, what I've got today is a follow-up video to my previous video demonstrating some weird sound issues with iOS 5 on an iPhone 3GS. This is that very same phone. As you can see, it is still suffering from the sound issue. I'm trying to use the volume buttons, we just get this weird logo where you don't actually see the volume going up and down. There's no lock or unlock sounds, uh, despite the phone actually being uh, have the, those settings being activated. And if I try to Oh, try to actually type a message. There's no keypad tones whatsoever, as described in my previous video. So today I'm actually gonna just going to demonstrate uh, the fix for you guys, and um, just to actually show, well, basically to prove that this works. I'm going to try and do it all in one video. So if you guys will please bear with me. So. As you can see, the iPhone is currently attached, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up this program, iExplorer. Okay, so this is actually a native install of iOS 5. The only thing that is different is that I've gone ahead and installed Cydia, so jailbreaked it. And the reason you have to jailbreak it, or well, the reason I jailbreaked it, was because without jailbreaking, um, iExplorer cannot get access to all these root directory uh, folders which is what we actually need for this fix so take your phone, jailbreak it um, once you've jailbreaked it, just using Red Snow in this instance, um, go ahead and open up iExplorer, click on system expand that out, then click on library, expand that out and then go down to launch demons if that's how you pronounce demons, I don't know Arrange it by name and scroll down until you find the entry called uh, what is it? This bad boy, com.apple.iapd.plist. Hopefully, you guys can see that clear enough. There we go. So once you can actually, once you found that, just right-click on it, say delete selected. So just to show this. Um, so here's the phone in view, still got the sound issue. Okay, I'm going to click to go ahead and delete. Okay, so we still have the sound issue at this point. I'll just close that down. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and reboot the phone. Now just whilst that's rebooting, this phone for some reason takes a hell of a long time to reboot, so just whilst that's doing that, apparently this uh, file that we're deleting is responsible for managing uh, the accessories that work with uh, various apps, such as the Nike app where you have uh, some sort of accessory that goes with that, like a foot pedometer or some something, and once you remove this uh, particular file, those accessories may not work properly. Uh, but who uses that anyway. Uh, but I guess if you do, you may not want to use this fix, but um, if, uh, if it's not of interest to you, then yeah, it doesn't really matter. As you see, this phone just rebooted. This thing's got some real issues. So this fix is actually, uh, well the suggestion for this fix has come courtesy of Francis Virgilio who commented on my last video. So uh, I went ahead and I tried this fix after he said it and yeah, it definitely worked. So I thought I'd uh, just restore the phone back to the way it was and then demonstrate it for you guys on, on camera just to provide some proof. As soon as this bloody thing boots up, we'll be right. Like I said, this phone, for some reason, takes a hell of a long time to boot up. What's weird though is uh, when you try to charge this particular phone, it takes... Ah, oh, fuck, it's reboot again. I'll just disconnect it for the reboot.
yeah, what's weird about this phone is it takes a hell of a long time to charge, um, but the battery life on it is phenomenal. Like, it gets over four or five days of standby time. So, I think I'm going to do some sort of follow up video on that. Any moment now. All right, finally we're booted. And there you have it. Ring a button is now working. Lock sound. Unlock sounds. Let's go ahead and we'll try a YouTube video. Pfft, soccer. Um, what do we got? Panther win. All right. Okay, so we've now got the volume button down the bottom, whereas previously that wasn't there. So there you have it. So. Yeah, I didn't think it would work, but deleting that plist file, or whatever it is, definitely works um, for fixing this sound issue on the iPhone 3GS. Um, may work for other iPhones, like the 4 and 4S, etc. Um, don't know, never tried it, but if you are having the same sort of issues, it's probably worth a shot, given that you can actually just restore your phone back to factory default and put that plist back, uh, back in where it's meant to be if you actually end up needing it. So yeah, thanks for watching.